Hi, this is Corey Kerr. I'm going to show you how to use vector textures to roughen uh, and do different things to your vector art. Um, kind of give it a vintage feel. You have to excuse me, I have a cold. If you want to see how to make your own vector textures, go ahead and take a look at the video prior to this about creating vectors. So let's take a look at um, this texture that I've got over here. So I've created this texture. Um, it's a vector texture, so I can, I can click on it. I can change the color to be whatever I want. So you can change it to be whatever you want, okay? Then we're gonna drag this over. Let's say that this is our illustration, right? One of the, one of the things that you can do that's super easy um, is just sample the background color, okay? And then automatically it shows kind of what's going on, okay? Now technically, you're not using this to cut this out or anything, but if you did wanna do that, you could grab both of them. And this works if you have a single single shape or single color. And basically what you're going to do is just open up your Pathfinder palette and just cut that object out. Make sure that the vector texture is on top and it will just cut that out for you. It takes a little time for it to process because you are uh, doing a fairly intense thing. So if your computer is a little bit older, then it might choke on it a little bit. Okay, then as you can see, if you just click away from it, that... Uh, that that's all cut now. It's one big shape. So if we zoom in on this, you, you can see that it's cut, right? So um, what happens if you want to do that? I'm going to back out of this. What happens if you want to do that, but you have multiple colors, okay? Um, so here's like two colors, just to give you an example. I'm going to drag this texture over the top here. Okay, so if you have two colors and you want to do the same thing, you have to do it a couple times. For simplicity's sake here, I'm going to make our texture mm. green and uh, I'll make these red and blue so you can see the difference. So here's, here's a green texture. We'll move that out of the way real quick. Okay, and then we've got two shapes here. We've got a red shape and a blue shape. Okay, so we'll put those back on top. Okay, now we have two different things to cut. You can't cut both things at the same time because it'll just get confused. So make a copy of your texture. You just drag that down here, you get a little plus sign. It duplicates it, right? Hide one of those. Then you'll highlight this and highlight one of these colors. Okay, so I'm highlighting the blue, and I'm highlighting one of those textures. The texture's on top of the object. Then go to your Pathfinder palette, and choose minus front. It'll take a moment, and I'll speed this up on the video, but it'll choke on it for a second. Okay, so after that is done, you can now see that the blue part has had the texture cut through it. So I can see the white background, but the red part hasn't. So open up your Layers palette. Highlight the other texture. you got to turn it on first. Highlight the other texture that you have made a copy of and then highlight that red shape. Then you're going to go back to your Pathfinder palette. You're going to click on the subtract. Then it's going to cut that out. And now I'll just change the background. So you can see it actually did cut it out. Even with the gradient, you can see through it. It's not the same color as the background. It's actually cut out. So that's one way to do it. The key to that strategy, if you're going to cut out multiple things and you have to cut it out, you can't just make it look cut out. You actually have to cut it out, is to make sure that you duplicate, not copy and paste you duplicate the texture because if you duplicate the texture then it'll put it exactly on top of itself in the same spot so you notice right here it looks like this texture continues even though these were technically two different textures it was right on top of itself okay let me show you just one more time that the much easier way and the way that you would normally do most things there's very seldom you actually need to cut your design um, most of the time the screen printers or whomever can, uh, you know, can make adjustments in the computer or in the screens. So if I were to do this design, okay, I'd take my texture, I'd put my texture over the top of it like this, okay, and I just grab the texture and I would just sample the background color. Then when I deselect everything like that, it looks like it's cut. This is this is this is really the way to go. And I can I can come in here and I can adjust this you know, like that to make it more or less distressed, deselect and like, you know, the heavier part is there. I could make multiple copies of this. I could drag this down here and kind of distress the edge or whatever, right? So as I do that, you know, I can really make this really vintage, you know, as if it's just been worn away by the years or whatever, but I'm not actually cutting it. If I were to change the background color here, I'm gonna unlock it. If I were to change the background color here to something else, okay, you would see that the texture is really just blue. It was just the same background color, right? So if this background color is the same color as the texture, then it appears, it appears like that. 
So unless you're mocking it up in a photorealistic situation, um, you know, like, like in one of those PSD templates or something like that, um, you really don't need to actually cut it. Um, cause I mean, it would take a little while. There's, there's three or four colors in this one. So you'd cut, you'd have to cut it, you know, a few different times. So, okay. Now the third and final thing you can do is called an opacity mask. It's kind of illustrator's version of Photoshop's mask where there's black, it disappears where there's white. It, it, uh, it shows through. It's a little bit different and it's kind of a tricky thing and I'll, I'll go into more detail in another video, but let me just show you really fast. Grab these two things, hit command X, um, control X on a PC, that cuts it and copies it to your clipboard. Then you go to your transparency palette, okay? Now grab in one big group, your whole illustration, make sure it's grouped, and then click make mask, okay? Um, then uncheck clip, okay? And then you click on the mask itself. Notice that little orange thing? Okay, this is the layer, this is the mask. And you'll paste, Command-V, Control-V on a PC, you'll paste what you copied to it, okay? And then you can deselect, okay? And notice that <clears throat> it's now there. Now, when you wanna go back to it, you can work on it. You know, you can invert your mask, you can do different things. Um, and we'll, we'll talk about that later. When you wanna release it, you can press release. But if you click back on this, then you can grab this whole thing, and you can drag it over like that. Let's put it on top, make it smaller. So these are templates I got from designbyhumans.com, um, a t-shirt design site. Um, there are paid ones that you can get. Um, you know, there, there are a lot of different things. But notice how that, you know, that looks pretty decent. It looks like it could be printed on there. It's probably a little big, you know, for that size shirt. But I can go down like this a little bit. Okay, another thing that you can do is you can grab this and make a copy over here. Now it looks weird that way. You grab your free transform tool, um, you know, click free distort, okay? And then you can kind of shorten it up a little bit, you know, and make it look like it, uh, like it actually belongs uh, on that plane like that. Kind of move it over a touch, okay? So I'll zoom in on that so you can see it. So there you go. So then it kind of looks mocked up. You know, I, I'd move this over just a touch here like that. So it's not bleeding off. And, uh, and that's, that's a good way to show uh, your clients, um, you know, what it would look like printed on a shirt. So that's an opacity mask. I'll go more into more detail on that later.